Hi, Liam here and back with another video. The team over at Reolink have kindly hooked me up with the new GoPT Ultra, one of their latest 4K cameras in a range of recently announced cameras from Reolink. In this video, I will cover a short unboxing, some of the key features this new camera has to offer and a side-by-side -side video comparison with the original Go PT Plus. Let's pop open the box and take a look at what we have inside. Now the first thing we're met with is this. This usually contains our little instruction manual and a couple of stickers that you can stick on your windows or anywhere that you want to display that you are using CCTV in your area. The next thing we've got here is the antenna. Now this comes as standard on most of their Wi-Fi range cameras uh, and also on the Go PT range along with the Key Ranger as well. The next thing we're met with, of course, is the camera itself. And there we have it. The new Reolink Go PT Ultra. As you can see, just on the front there, it actually says Reolink 4K. So this is their new 4K camera, which we will be testing out shortly. Very smart, it's very neat, um, very well made very very well made that's the one thing i love about these products um, every camera that i've had so far um, the build quality uh, is is exceptional uh, i'm very happy with the with the build quality on all of their cameras so next thing we got is the bracket itself now looking at this at a quick glance it does look like they've changed this slightly from the original um, bracket that they had on the Go PT Plus. Now the original bracket they had on the Go PT Plus actually had um, an attachment that would attach to the camera first and then you would then screw this into the top of the bracket which had like a little quick release mechanism. I quite liked that because it just meant that you could quickly um, unhook your camera if you wanted to rather than having to unscrew um, but it looks like they've opted for the um, an Allen key thread here. So you'd obviously mount that to the wall first, attach your camera underneath, and then screw that down tightly. But still, very nice, uh, very nicely made bracket, sort of an L-shaped bracket for the camera to sit underneath like so. Next, we have our USB-C cable. Uh, the previous model was one of the original USB cables. So that means that this uh, new camera will now power off of uh, the USB-C solar panel, uh, which is the new solar panel too. We've also got a strap. That comes pretty much as standard on most of these uh, Reolink cameras. Uh, whether you wanna mount that to a tree uh, rather than screwing holes into your tree or into a fence post, um, this little strap here will allow you to um, attach that safely to a tree or a fence post. Uh, the next thing we are met with is our little bag of screws and an Allen key. And also in the box here, as I just mentioned about that little quick release system, it does appear that Reolink have put one in the box. Now, of course this isn't gonna work with this because it doesn't actually slot in and clip like the previous one. So I'm guessing they've popped that in there for anyone that have got the original Go PT uh, or the Go PT Plus. Um, you can attach this now to your new Go PT Ultra uh, and then without having to change the bracket saver, just simply pop your new camera up uh, and away you go. So that's quite neat. Um, I'm assuming that is the reason why it's in there and it's not just been popped in there uh, by mistake. But uh, yeah, very neat and that's it. That is all that's inside the, uh, inside the camera box. Um, the camera, the bracket, the strap, the USB-C cable, 
a little set of screws, an Allen key, and the antenna. And that's it, that's all you've got. Let's take a look at some of the key features this new camera has to offer. The biggest feature from this new camera is the 4K capabilities. You can now record and view your footage in 4K. The previous GoPT Plus had a 2K 4 megapixel sensor. This new camera has now doubled that with a new 4K 8 megapixel CMOS sensor. For those who would like to know, the video resolution for this equates to 3840 by 2160. That gives us a much larger sensor capturing sharper and clearer images in both day and night. Talking of day and night, this new camera is now equipped with two spotlights which sit alongside the two infrared lights, giving you two night vision modes, allowing you to see even more details in total darkness. Along with these two big new features, the one thing this camera is known for is its pan and tilt feature. It has a 355 degrees of pan and 140 degrees of tilt. So you can adjust your viewing angle and cover a much wider area than your traditional bullet style cameras. It has a long lasting rechargeable battery, which can be charged using the new Realink Solar Panel 2, which plugs into the USB-C port. It has real time communication with a built in microphone and a speaker and a double warning for any of those unwelcoming visitors with a siren and a spotlight trigger. On the bottom here, you have a memory card and data SIM card slot. This means you can store all of your videos to the memory card and view anytime. And with the data SIM, you can use this camera anywhere in the world without the need for Wi-Fi. I've been using the Realink Go range of cameras for the past two years now. All of my cameras are field based and solely rely on solar power and mobile data SIM cards. These cameras have allowed me to capture moments I would never before been able to capture with my own eyes. They have allowed me to capture data which I've been able to use for wildlife conservation. Let's now take a look at the GoPT Plus and the GoPT Ultra side by side. Right, so I'm now out in the garden and I'm going to do some side by side comparison tests with the 4K PT Ultra and the 2K PT Plus. Um, as you can see here, I've got it rigged up on this little T-bar. Um, this is essentially going to allow me to put both cameras, or have both cameras side by side to give you a side by side comparison as I walk around the garden. Um, I'm actually a little bit further away from the house, um, so I'm actually going to set the cameras up on top of my deck in here, overlooking the garden behind me, um, and then I'll do a couple of walks back and forth a few times, um, and then I'll do a couple of pans around the garden as well, to give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like during daylight. Um, so that'll be obviously the 2K and the 4K, so the 2K 4 megapixel sensor, and the 4K 8 megapixel sensor on the PT Ultra. Um, so hopefully that will give you a bit of an idea of what they look like during daylight hours. Um, and then I'll come back out in a short while uh, once the light has dropped. Um, and then I'll do a side by side with the infrared and then one with the spotlights on on the PT Ultra. So, uh, so yeah, let's, um, let's get this rigged up on the deck in and we'll see what the results look like during daylight. This is the Go PT Plus. As I casually walk towards the camera. Now this is the Go PT Ultra. Take a look at the difference in the color and the contrast between the two images. Now back to the Go PT Plus using the infrared lights. Watch as I come closer towards the camera. You'll notice that the infrared lights start to blow out my skin and the details within my top. This is probably partially due to the fact, the positioning of the camera. But just take a look at the detailing around the rest of the image. Now the same image 
but using the GoPT Ultra. Notice that the infrareds are now kicking out a lot more light. So there's a lot more detail in and the lights are spreading a lot further down the garden. But of course that means I'm now uh, a white silhouette within the image. Again, probably due to the positioning of the camera. Now this is the GoPT Ultra with the spotlights turned on. There's a slight ghosting going on in this image. And of course, the lights have completely blown out the highlights on my face. But you can actually adjust these lights. But this is at full power. A quick pan around the garden in infrared. And now with the spotlights turned on. Just look at how powerful those spotlights are. It lights up quite a large area of the garden. But notice that slight ghosting as we pan. That's probably due to the frame rates. What do you think to the new GoPT Ultra? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.